All right, we're going to expand our discussion on polynomials and bring in some matrices. And what we're going to be doing now is um, looking at a table and figuring out what um, the polynomial is that defines the numbers in this table. So we're going to start with defining a finite difference. Okay. So when the x values in a data set are equally spaced. Now let's stop there with our definition. And let's look at this data set. The data set goes from 1 to 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. These are equally spaced, which means they have the same difference between them. And so this is a first qualifier for this. All right, so when the x values in a data set are equally spaced, the differences in the consecutive y values are called finite differences. Okay. Okay, and when you have a finite difference, we can write a polynomial function with it. Okay, now for this example, and it says 3, because that's what it was in the lesson I was teaching, we are going to subtract as our first step. We may have to subtract multiple times because we want to keep subtracting our y values until the difference is all the same. It might be a 1, it might be a negative number, but we want to keep subtracting until we get the same number. And what that tells us is how many times we have to subtract that is the degree of our polynomial. So let's subtract. I'm going to blow this up a little bit. So we want to subtract 6 here from 15. So we're going to go this way with our subtraction. And that is 9. Go the same way. 22 minus 15, 7. 21 minus 22 is negative 1. It's okay to have negatives. 6 minus 21, negative 15, and then negative 29 minus 6 is negative 35. Okay, well these differences are not all the same. We want them to be the same, so we're going to subtract again. 7 minus 9, negative 2. Negative 1 minus 7, negative 8. Negative 15 minus negative 1, negative 14. Negative 35 minus negative 15, negative 20. Okay, they're not all the same, so we're going to subtract again. Negative 8 minus negative 2 is negative 6. This is also negative 6. And the last one here is negative 6. So we took three differences, one, two, three. This means that we are going to have a cubic. Our largest exponent is going to be a three. And we're going to be using a polynomial in this form since it's a cubic. We're going to have f of x equals a x cubed plus b x squared plus cx plus d. a, b, and c, d <clears throat> are coefficients that we don't know what they are. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a system of equations. 
we have four variables, so we need four equations. We want a system of equations, and we're going to solve for A, B, C, D, this ordered quartet, I guess, is what we would call it. Okay, so we're going to make a matrix also. We're not going to solve these systems of equations by hand. So using f of x equals ax cubed plus bx squared plus cx plus d, we're going to look at each little thing. So we've got f of 1. Well, according to my chart, when x is 1, f of x is 6. So I have 6. So I'm going to just substitute 1 in everywhere there's an x, here, here, and here. So that gives me A plus B plus C plus D. Ones are so easy. And then we're going to just continue down, go the X values of 1, 2, 3, 4. I guess we could use 5 and 6 if we wanted to. And that gives me 15 here. So we're going to begin with cubing the 2, which is 8, and then squaring it, which is 4. and then 2c plus the d. And we're just going to continue with this pattern with f of 3 and f of 4. So cube the 3, square the 3, multiply the 3, and then the last one. 21 and cube the 4, square the 4, multiply the 4, plus D. So, back when we were doing matrices, we took the coefficients of our system of equations and put them in a matrix. So let's do that. It's going to be a 4 by 4 matrix. And down on the 3 row. And then the 4 row. Okay. And you take your coefficients, multiply them by your variables. And that gives you your y values. 6, 15, 22, and 21. Now in your calculator, you would make this a 4 by 4 matrix and enter this into matrix A. You'll need to find the matrix button on the calculator. If you have a TI-83 or 84, it's there. It's either a button by itself or second of the inverse button. And then you're going to go to Edit, and then select A to do this. You're going to do the same thing for the solution matrix, just a 4 by 1. And you're going to name it matrix B. And what we learned how to do for solving these matrices is that you would multiply both sides by the inverse of A. Well, A and A inverse cancel each other. So what you end up with is your variable matrix equal to A inverse times B. And it does have to happen in that order. So once you get your matrices entered into your calculator, you go to matrix. You're going to select A. You don't need to go to the edit menu. And then you're going to find this little button, the X negative 1. And what it makes on your calculator is A with a negative 1 inverse. Then you're going to go back into your matrix menu. You don't have to click edit and you're going to find matrix B and then press enter. And what it gives you is the solution matrix. 
have negative 1, 5, 1, and 1. So what we do now is we will take those coefficients and put them into your equation. So the last step, write the polynomial. So what this gives us, I'm going to write it at the top, is f of x equals negative x cubed plus 5x squared plus x plus 1. And that represents a polynomial for the data in our table.